guys, what's up? And welcome back to another edition of Tool Tech Tuesday. Tonight, we've got some Innova products. Uh, we have their 3340A digital multimeter, and we also have the 5610 OBD2 scanner. What is so cool about this scanner, it is linked to their new Repair Solutions 2 app. Um, it is a tool app for the scanner itself to tell you pretty much what you need to do. Um, also, was something that is very cool, their products are backed by ASC certified technicians, so when you call in, uh, whether it be on the multimeter or whether it be on this, this scanner or any other scanner that they have on their website or on their Amazon store, I will link both in the description below. Uh, they do have an Amazon, Amazon store and they also do have a, a website where you can get customer support or they do have a 1-800 number for customer support too. And like I said, their customer support team is ASE certified. So um, you're not just talking to a individual about possibly this, this unit or this unit, you're talking to an AS, ASE certified mechanic. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, this is Bluetooth compatible. It will link to your phone or to your app and uh, you can scroll through and do a slew of different things but we'll talk about that in just a little bit when we get out there on the second gen we're going to take this out there and scan that uh, i'm sure that it is full of codes um, from doing the swap uh, from the automatic to the i'm sorry from the the uh, the six speed to the automatic but uh, first the digital the digital multimeter um, it comes in right about a hundred dollars um, pretty impressive uh, from what i read about it get this unboxed, see it with everything that comes. You're able to do high frequency up to 600 amps. It will do low current, I'm sorry, high current up to 600 amps, low current. Uh, you can check the RPM. It's got an RPM plug in here. Uh, first open it up, you got your, re your, your uh, owner's manual. Gonna have all your plugs in here. This is your RPM. So you can put it right on a spark plug, check the RPM vehicle, see if that said cylinder is firing. Um, it does have a temperature sensor. Uh, you can do pulse width with it. Your, like I said, temperature sensor, uh, resistance, uh, voltage, AC, DC, uh, check batteries, whatever you wanna do with this scanner. Um, the multimeter is, it, it is the, the sky's the limit as far as this. Uh, you guys know I use the Power Pro quite a bit. Um, and I did see on their website they do offer a power probe type tool uh, that is new to the lineup. So you guys get a chance to get on there and check that out. One of the things I thought was cool about this digital multimeter is you can have it on your wrist so you have your hands free and constantly checking the screen um, to see what you need to see, whether you're checking a fuse, whether you're checking resistance, whether you're checking the voltage of uh, voltage drop on a O2 sensor, whatever it may be. Uh, you got everything right there and you have your hands free to be able to check it. So um, get a chance, check out this on Amazon or on their website. Amazon, like I said, comes in right around a hundred bucks. On as far as the scanner, uh, the, the sky's the limit with the scanner also. Uh, this comes in right about $330, if I'm not mistaken, on Amazon. For right off the bat, I guess at the price point, uh, you know, for 100 bucks, you're getting a carry case for your multimeter. For 330 bucks, it's just in some blow mold plastic. That doesn't sit well with me. Uh, I think they could offer the same bag, this, this zip bag with uh, the, the OBD2 scanner as far as I'm concerned, but that's minimal. Um, as far as the scanner, you can do your engine check, you can do your business check, um, your, your ABS brake, your live data, um, your airbag, you can reset your airbag as far as a crash, you can reset your oil light, uh, you got your network scan, you can do a battery test with it. Uh, check your TPS sensors, uh, the trans temp. Uh, it is OBD2-1 compatible, uh, just buying a different plug adapter. Uh, and there's a slew of different adapters that you would have to get as far as your OBD2-1 or OBD-1 uh, to be able to scan with. And those are available. So uh, first of all, very nice display, very nice tool. Um, we're gonna go ahead and take it out to the second gen now and uh, see how it works. 
All right, we're out here in the truck with the uh, the 5610. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and turn the key on, like it said, and plug it into the OBD2 down here. And then the auto link should go ahead and take off, which is doing now. And then to save time, I do already have the Repair Solutions app downloaded and a, an account created. Um, we can go ahead and tap on that and see if it will find. Right there's the 5610. Go ahead and tap on that to connect to it. And then you can see I have 12 codes stored for the second gen here. This is the truck here, if you remember right. We're switching this from an, a standard transmission to an automatic. So there's going to be a slew of codes in here, um, especially having the truck uh, started without any coolant in it. Um, all the sensors are going to be off. Um, we started the truck basically bare bones, just an engine, getting everything primed back up. Um, making sure all the grounds are connected. So it is going to throw a lot of codes here in the beginning. Uh, we'll get these codes cleared as we get things. We're going to go ahead and clear all the codes. We'll get everything cleaned up, um, get everything hooked up right. But what I wanted to do is get this Repair Solutions app and it'll go through and tell you. Um, it might take, I don't know how long it takes. Um, it just says keep it plugged in and keep it near your device. Uh, it could take up to several minutes, hopefully not too long, but um, um, with this repair solutions, like I said earlier, they are ASE certified um, technicians that you're talking to on the phone from the company. So with the repair solutions, it'll tell you what you need and then you can call uh, their tech support line anytime you need some information and they'll be glad to help you out. Um, we'll go ahead and give this some time uh, to get everything taken care of or I'm sorry, to get all the information downloaded and uh, see what we come up with on uh, the app itself. All right, it is done. And one of the things I did not get a chance to put in there, uh, it does ask for access. The app asks for access of your camera. And then just on the inside of your driver's door uh, is a sticker usually with your VIN number and a barcode. And you can scan the barcode and then put in your mileage and then you have all the information in there. And then right here we can go to engine. And then this is the uh, information that the app. That's the information that the app pulled from the scanner. The primary fix is the uh, replacement of the engine coolant temperature sensor. And it tells you to buy that now. It gives you a price of it. And then you can also replace it. Uh, it's a third party. And then it goes down through and gives you all the codes that was in the scanner too. Um, as far as all 12 of them. And then you can go back. You can do maintenance. It gives you suggested maintenance on things that you should buy at my mileage and what you should inspect and things that you should possibly do at 220,000 miles it's on my truck and then also the predicted repairs fuel injection pumps it says it's a 23 percent probability it gives you all the probabilities of what you should check or what you should buy uh, the battery terminals, replace the map sensor, uh, replace the thermostat, just different probabilities of you might want you what you might want to check. And then if, if there's any recalls on the truck. These are dealer recalls here. This is something I would have to take up with my dealer and see if these are done via VIN um, because I have no idea. This is just some stuff and there's a, there's a few of them here that I should probably go in and uh, see if these have been done because the truck did come from California um, a few years ago. All right, after taking this out to the truck, I really, really, really like 
and enjoy the scanner. Um, these are available from O'Reilly also. Um, if you guys want to pick them up today, uh, you can go into O'Reilly and pick those up. That's one thing I did fail to mention. Uh, just like on the app, uh, after you download your uh, Repair Solutions 2 app, create your account, go through and do all that. Um, you do put in your store where you purchase this and then that also will give you a place where you can go and buy your parts within the app or just order the parts right from the app. Um, the, the app, I, I tell you what, that's a game changer as far as the scanner. Uh, it gives you basically your mechanic right there within the app. So you can just, uh, in some place, in some cases, it does actually show you the part uh, that you will be ordering, whether you order it or take it into uh, O'Reilly Advanced uh, Autos, wherever you so choose to take it, uh, it will give you that and also the part number. That I thought that was really, really cool. Um, the only issue I had and is the, it's, it was slow to upload, but that could be just the speed within you know my house. I'm in the driveway, uh, everything's in the house, so um, that could be the issue too. You know, I'm, I'm got a four walls that it has to go through as far as the pickup signal. Uh, it did take just a little bit for it to upload. Um, so and also the bag. I, I like to keep stuff like this in a bag. Uh, just not just thrown in my toolbox. There's really no place to keep this um, unless you can go online and find a bag kind of like this. Uh, I'm sure Amazon has a slew of those different bags. So that's really my only issue uh, with it. Uh, those are two issues there is the speed of the app. And like I said, that could be my issue with the speed of my internet and, and carry case. Other than that, Pretty impressed with the Mnova tools. I really encourage you to check out their website, see everything they have to offer. And also, if you want to head, check out Amazon, their Amazon store, everything that's on their website is on their Amazon store and vice versa. So guys, Mnova, check them out. Other than that, that's pretty much all I have. If you don't mind, hit that like button, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you have not already done so, and we'll see you guys in the next one.